Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to be making pinto bean applesauce cake. And it's out of the Emergency Food and Storage Survival Handbook on page 199. And uh, I have a friend who has a birthday tomorrow, and so he hates beans. So that's why we're making a pinto bean applesauce cake. We're going to try to hide it from him and see what he thinks. So what I have here is five tablespoons of dehydrated egg with five tablespoons of water and we're going to mix that in the bowl. You could probably mix this straight in the bowl and it would be a little lot easier but I was just trying to get my ingredients ready. And we need the butter. And what I have here is a half a cup of butter to one tablespoon of water. Butter powder. So this is a complete food storage cake. And I'll put that in the bowl. And it really does taste like butter, folks. And it creams together really nice like butter. So that is a great thing to have on your shelf. And now we're going to add the brown sugar and you know I don't uh, buy brown sugar. I make my own. So I have one cup of sugar. Remember use a dry measuring cup, not a liquid measuring cup for that. And I've already put oil on my tablespoon for my molasses. And it's one tablespoon of molasses to one cup of sugar. And I like it dark so I kind of put a little extra. And because you put the oil in, it comes right out of it. We're going to mix that together. Once you've mixed that together, you're going to stir in your rehydrated beans. And this is one cup of my homemade dehydrated beans to um, one cup of water. I'm going to add that in. And then this is quarter cup of uh, dehydrated apple sauce to one cup of water. Add that in. Now I don't have raisins, so what I've got instead is I got me some um, fruit cocktail that I dehydrated, as you see here, and some cranberries I dehydrated. And I put them in about a cup and a half of water to rehydrate them and now I'm just going to scoop them out. It does have raisins in it of course because it is fruit cocktail. Nuts, you can add nuts at this point but he doesn't particularly care for nuts so I'm not putting any in. This is my homemade vanilla it's just vodka and vanilla beans, and it's set for about six months, so it's really rich. And you're going to put in one teaspoon of vanilla. And I like vanilla, so of course I'm going to put a little more. We're going to mix that together. teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of salt. We're going to add a teaspoon of allspice and a teaspoon of cinnamon. One cup of water. Now it's really liquidy. And then we're going to mix in two cups of flour. 
Kind of add it a little bit at a time. If I had my hand mixer, I'd be using my hand mixer. But not everybody has one of those. So I decided not to use it. You should really get one, though. It'll make your lives so much easier. You know those little hand beaters? It's amazing how much the price on them has gone up. Alright, so I have two well-greased bread bands here. And we're going to divide it between the two of them. And we're going to bake this at 350 for 40 to 50 minutes. And, and there you go, the finished product. Beautiful. Nobody would ever know. Food storage. Blessings.